Hello everybody. Today we're going to work on how to sublimate a doormat. If you do sublimation, you can use really whatever design program you like. I use Silhouette because I've been using it for years and it's very easy. So here in my program is a doormat I'm making for my daughter. Doorbell broken. Please yell ding dong. She thinks it's really funny. So basically this is on a nine by 13 inch uh, paper area. What you're gonna do after you design whatever you want to design in your program, you're gonna reverse it and then you're going to send it over to the printer and you're going to print one copy. And here it is, it printed out in reverse and now it's ready to go over to the heat press. So this is your carpet here, this doormat, and it's a Traffic Master doormat. I get them from Home Depot. They're about $12. They are a regular stock item. So if you, when you get to Home Depot, there are none, then you need to go up to customer service and tell them they're out of stock so they can reorder them. They will only reorder more when the item actually sells out in the computer and then it automatically gets set. My heat press, I have a Fusion Hotronics. It's at 300 to 400 degrees for 90 seconds. So then you're gonna take your paper and you're gonna center it on your mat. I always like to follow with the bottom line here because then I can get nice straight lines. And you just wanna make sure that your sides are even. You don't want too much on this end or too much on that end. And this particular mat fits just right on the plate. And you'll have to make sure that it's on the plate because if it doesn't get hit, entirely with the heat press, it's going to go ahead and you're gonna have a faded mark and it's really hard to fix it once you make a mistake. So I'm gonna line this up here and then we're gonna get started. All right, so now we put our cover sheet on and we're gonna put this, close up our heat press here. And we have to make sure that it fold, you're gonna have to fold down that carpet piece under there, you kinda gotta fold it down a little bit and it'll sit in there just right. And now, I'm going to lower the heat press for the 90 seconds. And we're gonna let it go. I love these carpets because they're waterproof and they're very heavy, very sturdy. However, if you plan to ship it to people, it does usually cost between $14 to $15, depending on where they live. So you can build that into your cost if you want, or I just let my customers know that it's going to be at least $10 to ship. And um, sometimes I'll eat the $4 extra for shipping, just because my markup on this is pretty good. Um, I sell it for $35, I only pay $12 for it, and I'm only using one piece of paper and ink. So my cost and my time is very, very low. So my profit is a little bit high, so I don't mind giving them a price break. Also though, if you do do Etsy, and they offer free shipping now, anything over $35, they want you to go ahead and do free shipping, that's gonna eat into your cost. So now you're looking at possibly having to sell these rugs for $45 a piece. It's, for me, I unless I absolutely love something, I am not gonna pay $45 for it. So um, you kinda gotta take a look at that. Okay, it's ready to pop up, so let's take a look at it. And here it is, one finished doormat. Very nice, very pretty and it will last my daughter for a very long time. Please comment below, or if you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe if you like, 
what you saw today. I'm trying to put together more videos. Um, so I hope this will help any of you guys out and have a great day. Thanks for watching.